What is the selection criteria that you use when you're choosing the captains of the team? Thank you. Um, yeah, good question. Um, I would say, obviously, you, you're going to need somebody who's going to be playing. <laughs> so you're looking at one of those players who's going to be in that top one through to seven quite regularly. Now, my, my objective view of it is not necessarily going to be what other coaching staff would see. So obviously sitting with them and going through what we're looking for is, is a huge element. The biggest one for me is behaviour. Is an individual um, who has the capability of withstanding pressure um, and ultimately is able to display the values uh, in practice, the behaviours that you as a group have, have established and that we've done that as a team. So they're not necessarily what I say they've got to do. And we have three values. We have teamwork, we have effort, and we have humility. Those are our three values. They chose them. They live by them. And the captain has to epitomise that at all times. And on the guys that I have, they, they can fall. I understand that. They can make mistakes. But they always know where it is to come back to. And ultimately, I'm looking for that all the time. And when you look across those, when you look at teamwork, effort, and humility, it's quite hard possibly to, to rank what the behaviours would be. But they would be obvious to us within the group, you know, in terms of, in terms of efforts. Paolo Dranicinicola, who is the captain, um, has a military background, is growing as a leader every day. Um, and he is the first in and last out. He is always dressed properly. He was always on time. He understands others' points of view. Um, he makes the ultimate sacrifice on the field time and time again. Um, he believes in everybody but himself. Um, same with Jerry. Jerry does it in a slightly different way. That's why Jerry was made captain. Same with Cali. And these boys who have been captain for Fiji have really had that same sort of process that they've operated under. And it's certainly as what we regard as a team ethic is something they epitomise in terms of their behaviours all the way, all the time. Thank you. And if I can